Now today, I have the privilege of talking with Kurt, and I am really excited about this because he runs a really cool agency that does really cool stuff. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I went through your website, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is like next level stuff that you guys are doing. So I'd love for you to start off on what kind of agency you guys r- run, your position there, and just give us a little bit of background. Yeah, so thanks, Gary. I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, So yeah, uh, I'm the president and also a partner at Foundry. And uh, we are a digital experience company. So we build and uh, design and develop custom uh, applications. So mobile applications, web applications. Uh, We're not a marketing company. We are the tool makers, if you will, right? So we build everything from configurators to custom ERP systems to e-com to all sorts of stuff. We're the people you call when something off the shelf just isn't going to do it for your business. And that's so cool. So to g- give me a little bit of insight inside of the company. Like how big are you guys, revenue, yeah. team members, that kind of stuff? So yeah, we're we're growing pretty quickly. We're about 40 people, about seven years old. <clears throat> and uh, so our team is made up of it's about uh, 25% strategists, 25% design, and then the 50% development. So um, so we're end-to-end product. So a lot of times people come to us and say, hey, I want an app. And I say, that's probably a bad idea. Let's figure out what you actually need. <laughs> yeah. Um, so our uh, strategists will come in, help figure out what your business needs actually are, uh, help design what that roadmap looks like, interview and talk to customers, to employees. Uh, and then work with your team, and then our design team can come in, build out the UX, UI, make sure it's something that's very modern, but also uh, follows accessibility standards, and then our development team can actually produce it. And so uh, we're usually in some stage of a, of a, of a build at any given time, um, and there is a lot of times where we might just come in and just do design, or we might just do strategy to help an organization, but um, the majority of our stuff is end-to-end. What what kind of revenue if you if you're allowed to share that what kind of revenue do you guys do? Oh, uh, that's a good question. It changes every year, so it's uh, probably this year it's somewhere between six to eight. I that's guess awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So six to eight million, forty team members. That's really really good. Now walk me through like a project. So as you just yeah. described right there, I know people are hearing this and they're going, okay, well, how do I apply that? Or yeah. w- what? How are how are you? Because you're building websites, right? You're building b- or properties that are helping people yeah. do things. So what's the difference between you and somebody who's out there building websites for marketing as a marketing agency? Sure, sure. So for us, a lot of times um, we're defining most of the work that we do. So versus a client who might come and say, well, I need a website that has uh, that has, has these many pages. Here's kind of an idea of the sitemap or we need to refactor our website or things like that. Um, many times it's, well, we kind of use this spreadsheet to track things between Salesforce and uh, we, then we have these forms that people fill out on the ground. And then we have this sales enablement tool that also then sends PDFs. And we don't have any way to track or pull all this data mm. in a way that we can make sense of it. So that's where we come in to help create either maybe it's middleware or maybe it's a whole new dashboard, some sort of data visualization tool that allows mm. for anything from salespeople to track things more real time to um, helping them track inventory in a better in a better fashion than what they're doing 